So we're tapping the holes to start it. <coughs> Use one of these, which basically make sure that you actually completely perpendicular to the surface. And then we just started with a with a start to tap. And then we use just a normal and go through by hand because the handle on this one is not very long. And it's only for getting the, the right alignment and then if you hold that down you push it on the surface and then just wind your tap in and it uh, keeps it completely square. Very nice tool, it's not very expensive, made from comes from China. But uh, it's probably one of the best investments I've ever done. No problems with uh, doing square holes. The problem is I don't like power tapping with the with the milling machine because the speed is too high. And uh, I tried it once and I ripped off a, a, a tap. I don't want that anymore. So we'll do it by hand. Three to go and we're done. So today we got a bit more light and uh, heater here because it's freaking cold. Uh, we're gonna go through the holes with a tap just to make sure they're good. Uh, I scrubbed off the flywheel a little bit just to get rid of the rust. Uh, we just wipe it clean with the, with the rack, with an oily rack. Um, and then we try to fit our ring here. We, we also need to remove all this security thingies here. What they do is actually preventing the rotor from coming out from the generator. Normally it's a metal bracket but apparently the seller has lost it. So he used some wires um, and then we check if the ring fits here. That flex plate must go into this recess. If everything fits we just tidy up the inner diameter. Um, and that's about it, so let's test with that. Most importantly, do the dowel pins, the dowel holes fit. I reamed all the holes with 10 millimeters. Uh, probably stick a reamer in those one as well, just to make sure they fit. Uh, we'll try with M10 bolts, just sticking them in because they're a bit smaller to align it. And if it's if the alignment is good, we try dowel pins and see how it fits. Now the moment of truth is coming. Let's put it on. So we're sort of lucky. We got all the bolts fitted and we still have clearance so it doesn't bind. So my dividing action was good. Uh, what I notice is that this cap is probably not a, a number three because I this bolt is actually binding in the hole. There's clearance here. You see. So we got enough clearance, we got the holes were drilled 9mm and yeah we have clearance. So now comes the moment of truth. We're getting in. And it's not too bad actually. I was expecting worse. So let's try it and send bolt. And it does fit. It does fit. So yeah. It does fit here as well. So we are able yeah, to get the dowel pins in. Yeah. We should be able to get the dowel pins in because it, an M10 bolt is a, a tad smaller than a dowel pin. And uh, yeah, we can fit them. So that seems to work. Uh, I'll try a 10 millimeter something. Uh, yeah, we need to chase that thread and I think this one as well. No, this is good. This one, I think it is. We still have clearance, but the the threads need chasing better with some tap. So, that looks good. We got clearance on the outer diameter. Happy. And So this surface and this surface should be now on the same plane and then we put our spacer in the middle. Um, to get to the bolts here you, you can remove that grid here 
just remove the whole thing and then you get you can actually get your hands in and, and tighten the bolts so that's what we're going to try now so we're happy with that uh, i think i said it before but the the reason for that ring is one reason for that ring is these bolts here these ones they're sticking out so they would foul on the on the flywheel bolts that's another reason why we need that ring again SIE flywheels look a bit different they got all these features machined into the flywheel and it will be further back but this is a pretty thick flywheel here yeah. uh, don't know what it is for probably for hydraulic pump or so okay this one good let's check it on the other side and uh, see if it fits there but I should actually so the flex plate is a perfect fit as well no slop but it, it goes in fully so we flush it's hard to see but we flush on the uh, on the plate so I just need to lift the generator because I can't I can't get it off here because the generator is sitting on the pallet and uh, prevent me from getting that off so it's a nice slip fit on the circumference that's how it should be uh, yeah we still need to get the grid off let me get a crowbar to lift it a little bit well it seems all the bolts are fitting I just can't get to the bottom one so I screwed them from the other side with a longer bolt um, because I can't, can't get my hands in while it's, while it's on the pallet but it's good it fits uh, we need to check if the link is okay but I think it is these are self-locking bolts they got basically the, the crush washer or the, the lock washer built in uh, we will lock tight them on um, yeah it fits flush that's good um, I'm happy so far so let's machine the inside a bit nice so make sure there's no or very little imbalance and then the next job will be lifting that thing on onto the engine somehow while it's still on the pallet I don't know if it works maybe it does no, it should be actually uh, yeah we need to get the sheet metal off here pretty dusty inside because it was a woodworking shop and he was sitting in the corner for a couple of years that's what the guy told me it's a pain to get your hands in there it's it's just an awful tight awfully tight space if you can crank it over it's better uh, you will not get to the bottom if it's on the pallet but I'll leave it on the pallet because he got I got it on tubes here so you can move it back and forth anyway we need to set the crane up and uh, mount it after we've done the final touches on nothing okay let me take that off get it to the late machine the inside diameter the reason why I didn't do it is was just because I wasn't sure if it fits so just in case I need to dial it in um, for the inner surface or for the inner diameter of the flex plate but that seems to be a perfect fit so all my measurements worked out uh, I actually bought a caliper on, on eBay a 600 millimeter one because as we found out I don't have one in that length uh, because we need one for the mystery project anyway anyway uh, let's take it off do the machining or do the tidying of the inside diameter uh, probably give it a lick of a, paint, a lick of paint we need to protect it from rusting otherwise it looks ugly after a while uh, we need to wipe the flywheel with some oil uh, and then we good to mount it all right Let's go back into the workshop. So we dialed it in. Sorry for the noise, the heater is running. It's about two tenths on the diameter. The problem is the bolt holes here. But uh, I'm happy with that. It's just for doing the inner diameter. Same here. It's ramping at that start point. So we just cleaned that up. Jump for it a little bit. And that's all we do. We've got clearance much but uh, pretty much the end of what the chuck can do that's what we have here it's about 15 millimeters I need to that's 300 I need to do 320 
uh, as next and uh, we'll see how it fits. There's a few threads left on the on the jerk, so anyway, let's machine them and uh, then we're done with this one. Slightly and round. Uh, that's what I could see. I could see about a millimeter inch up. I don't need to stop that. As soon as we are clean, we're almost there. Uh, an HSS tool, which is not the sharpest anymore because I treated it badly. Alright, let's finish that. Oh, so that's our finished part. I increased the speed a bit. We better surface finish. And, uh, we're done. Well, let's do the spring pass. decided to use studs. Let's just make some studs under 10 millimeters long. I will just uh, clean the end. Um, let's do the force again now. And uh, we do all of them and then we'll fit them. Oh, it's freaking cold here. We need to warm up the paint first. Just a grey primer. Uh, hopefully it's getting warmer. And also, uh, this way, uh, okay, well, five minutes or so, it will be nice and warm. Anyway. All right, uh, the other one, we just paint that outside here same and uh, then we ready to go we made our bolts chamfer them a little bit check if the nuts are fitting they're under 10 millimeters so we got about 20 millimeters sticking out enough for for washer on the a nut all right let's do that and uh, we'll come back when we mark it so we got everything fitted here um, I need to make some dowel pins, that's a 10 millimeter dowel pin and that's just an, an old 10 millimeter tap. Uh, we got it all torqued up, got it primed and uh, yeah, make some pins. We used these two so we can actually put something over it, just a, a little tack or tap. Uh, which goes over the mounting hole so that the pin doesn't come out Maybe I wedge it Just pinch the corner a little bit so it stays in because we don't want the pin to work its way out But it worked okay the holes fit uh, We don't care about the other holes because there are no holes here And if I put the pins here, we have an imbalance. So that's the reason why it's two opposite ones should be fine. Uh, yeah, we need to get the generator on. Uh, don't know. This thing is heavy. I need to do. The, I need to get the crane. Uh, yeah, I need to make the pins, and uh, then we we'll fit the generator. We we'll use some studs. Makes our life a little bit easier. They're a bit long. 
but uh, you got enough clearance here. So they fully, they fully talked in. So not much more to say for now. Uh, we'll come back when we fit it. Guess what? We had no 10 millimeter dowel pin, so we just made one. Um, cut it off and uh, jump for it and plunge it in. So we decided to knurl it. Should be okay. Uh, pump it in and see how it works. Well, we run into a little problem here. Uh, the intake manifold is actually fouling on the lifting ear. So we're going to take it off. We can put it back on because there is enough space. It's just getting it in is impossible. So that needs to come off. Yeah, life would be too easy if everything works smooth. All right, let's do that. So we got it mounted. Uh, I still need to put the bottom bolts in, but uh, yeah, it fits. The flex plate bolts are a bit of a pain to get there, but that's normal. I think my studs are a bit long, but they help. They really help to align it because you're never going to be straight. Anyway, that's it for today. Had enough dinner time. I'll carry on tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time.